So just another quick video, that's actually a follow-up video of the video I did yesterday where I show how to get all these shaders into Virtual DJ using a couple of, uh, of shader packs and all these folders also. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll just uh, link to the zip file that's actually all these shaders in the video description. But uh, the new thing is that people are asking about the auto change and yes, it has an auto change, and that of course changes the shaders, and it changes them within the selected folder. Um, but it's always 32-bit, and could that be changed? And uh, well, not here in the GUI. There's no uh, there's no dial or anything. Maybe that'll come at some point. But also then we can we can overrule this, if you will. So uh, for instance, I'll use the let's say the fire ones. Say so, well, I wanna go between all the fire ones, but faster than 32 bit. How, how can I do that? Well, uh, I'll put it on the custom buttons, but you'll probably want to put it on a new uh, pad page if you want to keep it. So I open that and I add this script. So what it actually just does is that it sets a timer for two seconds and then it manually, if you will, changes the, the, the slider to the next one, which will always be the next one within the folder. So uh, since it's two seconds, I'll call it two seconds. And maybe make another one. Call it four seconds. And set it to four seconds. Like that. And then you probably also want to be able to turn it off. So we can make something that stops the timer. this, just need the name, and then put in stop. So then that should work. So I'll start a track. I'll set it two seconds. And now it changes every two seconds within the folder. And if I set it to four seconds, it will instead change every four seconds within the folder. Like that. And you can stop. Now it doesn't change anymore. But as you probably saw, it lit up both buttons when I did that. And that's because the first part of the actual of the actual script will is just the timer. So uh, that'll just be true when the timer exists. So what do we do if we only want to light up the actual button for the current setting? Well, we can just fake it and we can put in a, a, any kind of uh, a variable. So let's put in sets and then just some variable name. Uh, we can call it uh, auto slider, like that, for instance. And I'll set that to one, one we end button one. And then of course also do all the rest, like that. And then on button two, I'll add the same script, but set it to value two. And on this stop button, I should probably Name that stop. I'll set it to zero, like that. So now, if it when we use it, you can actually see which mode we're in. Two seconds mode now, and that's the one that lights up. Four second mode now, and that's the one that lights up. And stop, and then that's the one like that. So that's a little extra thing to keep the LEDs, if you will, or lights here, uh, correct. So that was it, a little trick to uh, to handle the length of auto change until maybe someday it'll be a, a native feature.